One key warning sign for a cult is that they ask for money for everything that they do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does anyone who listens to you have to pay money? No, not at all. No one who listens to us has to pay any money at all. And there are many people who listen to us who are even proud of the fact that they've never paid any money or donated any money to us. And I, 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 if I was you, if, if I was one of those persons, I'd have a good look at their thankfulness for what we do. Yeah. But, but we, don't, we don't pressure people to pay money for anything. And in fact, we don't pressure people to pay money at all. Um, you know, there's no pressure at all. Even when you go along to a seminar, as I've said, money is not, is not hard to even mention aside from us thanking people for their donations. And, and as a result, people are not solicited for their, for, for their funds or anything like that. And, and this is what I find quite interesting is a lot of people are very, find that very suspicious. Mm. Because, that, because that, that what's normal for most people is that somebody's always soliciting something. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got telephone marketers who ring you up soliciting you for something. And, you know, every single interaction you generally have in a business related sense is soliciting you for something and some payment in return. And when we don't ha require a payment in return for the gifts that we offer, and most people become really suspicious as if there's some other hidden hook or something like yeah. that. And I can assure people there is no hidden hooks with regard to what we do. We just present the information, what you do with it is up to you. Most of the people who listen to our information we've never met. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of the people, the majority of people who listen to our information have never uh, donated to us at all, in fact. Uh, and it's also true, isn't it, that a lot of the donations we receive, we don't know where they come from. Correct. Well, you know, They're obviously anonymous. the person says a name or something like that. But in the seminars, uh, most of, all of the donations are anonymous. Mm -hmm. And so we have got no idea who donates to us from a, in a seminar perspective. And I think that's wonderful because yeah. it means it has to come from the heart of the individual. And there are times when other people donate uh, via a bank account or via, you know, by pay, via PayPal. And of course, then they have to have their name in order to make it happen. But, but again, many times we don't know them or mm -hmm. know what, how the material has affected them or affected their life at all. Um, we just want to continue presenting the new material. And there's lots and lots of new material, as you know, yeah. that we want to present. You know, even with these FAQs, there's like thousands of more questions I'd like to answer, which are going to take many more hundreds of hours to do. And, uh, and so obviously, you know, we, we will need to have the funds come in to help us to support us to do all of those things. But we are quite trusting of the fact that people of people's generosity mm -hmm. and we're also quite trusting of people's goodness. You know, there, there's a lot of people I feel who, who do feel an appreciation for what they learn and what what they listen to. Yeah. And, and we're very thankful for, for those kind of people because they are the kind of people generally that help us do what we love doing. Yeah. Mm.